I'm always getting asked the question of how do I find good uh, trade setups and then, you know, which option strategy should you use for the various market condition you're trading? So hi, I'm Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. And, you know, what I try to do with our members at PowerCycle Trading is to define and identify really good selective potential breakout type trade setups. And then I use momentum to give potential direction for the trade as far as which direction will go up or down out of a breakout. And then I apply a certain option strategy based on the market environment uh, that we're trading. So here's an example of a trade setup that we did uh, yesterday and this was on Apple a breakout trade so first off this is kind of a longer term this is a daily time frame chart now you can see that these these dots here this is what we call a volatility squeeze which is a consolidation see how the price action back here this was back in March this year it was kind of churning sideways and the dots represent when the squeeze starts based on program programming this pattern into the uh, it, into the indicators and then you can see the arrows pointing up so that's based on momentum and then it broke to the upside so this was a breakout trade and we caught this trade on a breakout and then we'll apply a certain option strategy to trade it. Now you can see here is another one. So this was another even tighter squeeze. This was back in June of this year. So we caught that breakout same pattern and then here is one that a little bit different but still a breakout pattern caught that to the upside and then we made that you know high today or not high back here in uh, September right there to the to the upside now today we had another breakout so this is what it looks like if I zoom in on it you can see the dots here this identifies that squeeze pattern starting so then we have time to start looking at it so the next thing I do is I look at my momentum here this histogram cycle one where my pointer is two is positive momentum and so that measures momentum or strength and it's given us a potential direction would be that it would move and break to the upside. So we set this trade up yesterday and it was trading right here. We saw the squeeze. We started watching it. And so we started focusing on, in on it. And so yesterday we set the trade up. Now, the next question is, okay, what kind of option trade should we do? We, we typically, we'll always do an option trade because we can control our risk. So looking at this pattern and then looking at potential where uh, Apple is, I look back to, you know, kind of the charts here and I can see that, you know, it has this consolidation and it could go back up to that prior high, but it could take a little bit of time to get there. So in order to buy some time in case it still continues a little bit more sideways, the one strategy that we like to do is what we call a calendar diagonal, which is kind of like a covered call, poor man's covered call, where we can, if we're not exactly perfect on the breakout timing, we can still stay with the trade, get paid while we're waiting. So that's the trade uh, option strategy we did. So just looking here, you can see then what happened. We had our trend line break. We triggered it. We felt that good probability that it would break here today. And so it did. And so so the option trade that we did was what we call a long call condor and I'll show you what that looks like. So yesterday we went out to the 23 December series and we bought the $150 call. So it was trading right here yesterday at 150 and then we sold the 155 call against it kind of like a call devil spread. So that was our target to the upside potentially is 155 first target. And so we did that with the shorter duration option series the 26 November. That'll be not this Friday but the next Friday. So the combination of the long 150 and the short 150 put us into the spread at $4.18 or $418 per spread profit. And today you can see it was up $103. So it was up, you know, went to 521. It was actually up more than that today. So this is going out. And again, we go out and we're buying the 23 Ds. We've got 36 days on that long dated and then we sold the 26 November nine days short dated. So we get accelerated theta decay to take advantage of that and uh, potential upside. Uh, we can kind of control our upside and we can adjust when we need to, et cetera. So it's a great strategy for a lot of different conditions. So the first step though is identify the trade. We did that. I also identify those trades with, with, with my scanner here. You can see my volatility squeeze scanner and I put in anything here on my, on my uh, screen here and I pull up all these different uh, trades or stocks in a squeeze you can see Apple was one of them here and so we started focusing in on that one and then that's the kind of the steps through the trade setup and the option strategy to use. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you'd like more information please come visit us at PowerCycleTrading.com. Good luck trading.